Hello everyone, this is Adrienne of adriansmith.net and what I wanted to share with you today is how to use TweetDeck. Now I've had a few friends that have had questions about it and so what I thought I would do is I would share with you their latest version. So first I just wanted to show you where to go to download it. So TweetDeck is my favorite uh, third-party application to share tweets. A lot of people use Hootsuite and to each his own and it's an okay program I just don't care for it myself. So TweetDeck what happened was I still prefer the older version and the older version was uh, done away with when Twitter acquired TweetDeck. So now TweetDeck is owned by Twitter. So it's got a whole new look, whole new thing. So what you would do is you would have to come over here to TweetDeck.com. You can sign in. So if you don't have an account, you'll sign up with it. This might look a little bit different to you because I do have an account. And you can get a Chrome extension, which means you can have it right up here. Or you can get the standalone version, so you would download it here. And if I'm not mistaken, I still think you would need Adobe Air to run that. I like the standalone version myself because I don't like 20 million tabs open in my browser. So anyway, this is how you use TweetDeck. And they've got some different things you can go through here and learn, which I'm sure that if you're not already with an account, your page might look a little different, like I said. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like once it's done. Now, there will be some default columns in here. So I've got all of mine added the way I want. I've got my mentions. So that what this means is everybody who is talking about me is in this column. These are my tweets. I sent these out. And I like to see these because sometimes I forget, oh my gosh, did I tweet about that already? So this is easy for me to find. You know, you have to, whoops, sorry. You have to scroll down here and it keeps going. And I don't like that you can hardly see this line. It's kind of annoying to me. Anyway, so down here, the scroll bar will keep going over. This one over here is my messages, but these are the different columns that I have. So this is what it looks like, and what you would do is, if you if you want to include a list, or let's just say you add a column. So let's say you want your mentions or your tweets or something like that. You would come up here to add column, and here you go. You just got a choice of whatever you want to add. You can come right here to the list, or, you know, go back up here like it shows. But tweets, your tweets, your at mentions, whatever column you want you can include. So this is how you would do that right there. And this right here is just like the same thing as this slide bar. It just shoots you over. If you want to search for something in particular, that's what that feature is. And there's hardly any settings to this. It's kind of surprising to me. But anyway, this is where the settings are. This is my account. Keyboard shortcuts. This just gives you what they are. It tells you what they are if you want some shortcuts. And then your settings is general, you know, if you want them streaming or whatever, what size the column you want, font, theme, you know, show notifications on startup. Your accounts, you can do your Twitter accounts. You can add more. You can add Facebook to this so you can see what's going on in Facebook. I don't. Uh, services, you can use the link shortening services, you know, for pictures and for Twitter or, you know, Bitly, Twitter, whichever one you want. The global filter, I don't really even know what this is. Of course, I don't use it. That's the only settings they have in this new version, which is surprising because when you see the older version, oh my God, there were tons of them. Okay, so let's say you want to send a tweet to just somebody. So you would come up here and you would click on this little box right here. And it's going to open up and you put it in and this is, you can attach it's not going to have a drop down. A photo. You can schedule it. This is how you would do that. Remove. Or you can do an email. Or you can send a direct message right here. So that's what you would do for that. Now let's go over here to my at mentions column. Now this is what's different from the old one. With the old one, you could just click on every single one of these and they would come up in this mentions or whatever you, this terminology is for this little 
message box. There we go, message box. Let's use that. Okay, so I'm going to play with Robin here. So when you hover over this, right here, if Robin and I have had a conversation going on, you can click on that and it's going to show. So see, this is what I said and this is what she responded to. So if I want to reply, I would hit the reply and it's going to come up in a new window. Okay, and down here it's going to tell me, you know, what I'm responding to. Now here, let's click on that. This is just showing from me. I can edit this tweet or I can just retweet what she said. So this is the tweet right here. I can just retweet that one or I can edit it. Okay, now the star, I can show this as a favorite and I think this is the more. So I can tweet to, I can follow her, I can send her a direct message, I can remove her from a list, all these other little options that you can have. Now here is where you would find out where she sent it from. She sent it from Windows Phone. In the old version, I'm going to go back up here to back mentions, so I'm back in my column. In the old versions, it showed down here. You didn't have to go in there and open it to see, see this one's Triber. See where it says he's, he did this from Triber. I'm going back. But none of that shows in the window right here. So you got to go all the way and open up every single darn one of them to see where they came from. Because, because I'm in Triber, I don't have to individually thank those people. So it's a pain in the you know what having to individually go down this list and respond to every single one of them. So I would have to go here and I would have to reply. And then I would have to go here and I would have to reply. You know? Now the good thing about the new one, at least you're seeing the conversation that's going on. Where the old one you didn't. So that's the difference between the new one. And let's see, it doesn't even have a version. So with this video, if I can say, oh wow, this is great. This is a new Twitter version. Well, it's a new Twitter version as of February 2013. <laughs> Let's stick with that one, okay? So that's how you use the updated tweet deck. Kind of a short, sweet. It's a great little service. I like it because I can look at all of my different columns. I can see what's going on. I can respond to them how I want. And come over here and I can see where my messages are and what's going on. Okay, so this is tweet deck. This is what I like. All right, signing off for now. This is Adrian at adriansmith.net, and you guys have an awesome day. Okay, check you later.